वेलकम टू टेक योर टाइम दिस इज सोम दास दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ फ्लो रूम डेटाबेस को रूटीन्स एंड डैगर मल्टी बाइंडिंग ऑल टूगेदर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस को रूटीन्स एंड ए पी आई कॉल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड रैपर टू सेग्रीगेट एरर्स एंड सक्सेस इन को रूटीन्स ऑल्सो वी विल रन द एप एंड सी द डेटा रेंडरिंग इन यू आई after successful api call through coroutine just to create the platform of room database and flow integration in the next video in last video we discussed dagger setup of the app and view states creation if you haven't watched it yet make sure to check that before this video the last video is currently shown in the card so now if you have already watched it so let's get started with this one so before jumping straight into the api call let me just show you one file api client so this is the file i was talking about first let's start it from the very beginning as we know that coroutines work with suspend functions we have added this suspend keyword before our retrofit api call method definition now we had seen in our previous video we used retrofit version 2.7.1 because only from 2.6.0 and onwards support of suspend function is given to retrofit okay so with that in mind next let's see from where we call the function so we call the function from the main activity view model and here a lot of things are there for us to learn so first thing is view model scope that is here and if you see this is none other than a coroutine scope we know to launch a coroutine we need a coroutine scope that's what we have with view model scope only difference from other coroutine scope is view model scope is coupled with the view model with this view model this view model so this view model scope is coupled with this view model and as soon as the view model is destroyed this scope will be destroyed and the coroutine which was launched inside this if it is in running state will be cancelled now let's look into one method that we have created run io this one okay let me zoom it, zoom a little bit yeah that's fine so run io what it is it's none other than a suspend function right which takes two arguments one is the dispatcher provider here and the other work other one is the work that it needs to do it is a it is a suspend function and it's passed as a lambda that we will see from where we are passing so most of the times we will propagate our api calls to different coroutines and get the response in main dispatchers and that's what it does this run away, run io method so now if you see this coroutine dispatcher provider right this is a data class nothing fancy there are three different coroutine dispatcher that we have defined one is main one is computation and one is io and here using this one we will just change the uh, coroutine scopes which will be used by this run io method now if you notice that the the work that we pass here it does the work in the coroutine scope of io so if you see with context dispatcher provider dot io and it does the work here right and it sends 
द रिजल्ट और द एरर दिस वन और दिस एरर दीज आर द टू एरर्स एंड दिस इज द सक्सेस रिजल्ट सो इट सेंड्स द रिजल्ट और एरर आफ्टर रैपिंग थ्रू अ सील्ड क्लास रिजल्ट हैंडलर सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट हैंडलर एंड इफ यू सी द रिटर्न टाइप इज रैप्ड विथ रिजल्ट हैंडलर वॉट इज रिजल्ट हैंडलर दिस इज द सील्ड क्लास रिजल्ट हैंडलर देर आर अगेन टू डिफरेंट डेटा क्लासेस वन इज सक्सेस एंड वन इज एरर द सक्सेस वन गिव्स अस द डेटा एंड द एरर वन गिव्स अस द थ्रोएबल राइट वन थिंग इज टू नोटिस हियर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट we could have just used io or main provided by coroutine directly by calling dispatchers.io or dispatchers.main like here we could have just done dispatchers dot main but instead what we have done here is we have passed the dispatcher provider and we have used the main of that one here what we have just seen previously now why we have done it because for unit testing we can mock and pass this this pass a test dispatcher as this one in our case but if we would have used direct dispatchers we were not going to have the ability to mock it for testing so if you are coming from rx background you can easily correlate with it and if you are not coming from rx or reactive programming experience please uh, make a note of this one now again let's go back to the view model here so now the rest of the code here it is self explanatory we get back the api response we actually we i i will show you how we have called here run io we pass the dispatcher provider that we get it here and in the lambda we we call the get data function which is the api call right so in the lambda we are passing here the work the work is done in the dispatcher io context coroutine scope and the result is propagated in dispatcher's main coroutine scope right now as i was telling we get the response here and we handle the response through our wrapper result handler this one and here one when case is there to handle the success success and the error cases right and accordingly we give call to respective ui state for error we give call to show error with the throwable and for success we call show data with the data okay now so let's just run the app and see the outcome so i am just running the app you see so you see this let me just uh, show you the let me just uninstall the app once and run again and then we what we will do we will put some debug points and we will see the state changes so if you see progress dialog is moving and it is showing the response now let me just show you again so i'll go to the main activity and the first thing it does is it comes here right let me just run the app uh let me just put some debug pointer here yeah it's now done and let me just again come into the app so we come here now as soon as we get the view model what it does the init block of the view model gets called right so that that's what it should do so let me just do one thing for you let me just pull this one like this and this one here so you can understand clearly so it comes here it post the value show loading right and show loading is observed from where in the main activity so it should come here and then get data right 
so let me just come here and here and also here right so here the api call is happening right and here we come into the show loading then the post has been happened and here initial ui state what it does is it just removes all the visibility and then it show it goes to into show loading we are just keeping these two debug points also so it calls show loading so now the loader starts loading and the api call happens in the meantime and we get the success response and we post the value show data with the response uh, with the result data so if i just put it here it comes here and the result data is what it's a array list of size 6 right so there are these data michael lotion is the first one so as soon as i we give the call here show data this show data is observed here we should be getting the call here show data state dot data we get the call here and in the show data show data we just remove the progress dialog and we submit the list to the adapter we remove the progress dialog we make the visibility of the recycler view as visible and we submit the data to the adapter and here the we get the call to the list adapters and again this and we see the data so that's it now what we have done is we got the platform ready for room database and flow api integration in the next video we will not render the ui directly from the api call rather we will put the data to room database from the api call and as soon as the data is inserted in database we will observe the change of database through flow api and then using that one we will render the ui so stay tuned and again if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and hit on the bell icon so that you get the update for the next video take care see you soon bye